went up to our penultimate reader on the open, open stage today. Please welcome. Cops, mate, I tell you, they freak me out, mate. Believe me, what can you do, mate? They pick you up, take you to the station, lock you in a cell, all around all brick, mate. And then they come in, mate. My mother didn't recognise me when I come out of there, mate. Reported, reported, you reckon? You fell down the stairs, mate. That's what they say, mate. You fell down the stairs, mate. Two broken fingers. Look, mate. They're not straight, mate. Cops, mate. Don't talk to me about cops, mate. One was standing right near a window, right? And he said, come here, mate. A window, mate? No way, mate. They'll say jump, mate. There's five or six of them there. They'll say jump, mate. <coughs> Fuck, mate. What about that skippy on the bike? One shot in the head, another one through his head, mate. For riding the bike, mate. Fuck, mate. Don't talk to me about cops, mate. What can you do, mate? Cops, mate. They're fucked, mate. <laughs> That's it. Joe Hill is dead, buried in oil-stained Middle Eastern sands. The statues of Lenin have fallen. Coca-Cola finally won. The Battle of Brandon slogan. The Berlin Wall has fallen. The bricks increasing in value every day. Checkpoint Charlie is checked out. There's a vodka where a party used to be. Vodka, Boris. Vodka. The world's more concerned if Monica swallowed. Why suck my dick and call me present? I wipe my bum with recycled unbleached toilet paper. Call me environmentic. I'm just a slut. <laughs> okay, next up, we've either got a brand new person or someone we know in Cognito. Please welcome Mr. X. <laughs> um, I've got a book coming out, so uh, it's a bit of a plug. See, Mr. X, so if you want to, if you're interested in the book, then I'll, all will be revealed. <laughs> this is for a friend of mine. Um, it's called Monument for Bobby. He complained that the tucker wasn't fit for pigs, and men's privileges lost for the slightest breach. And for these they cuffed him down at curfew, dragged him screaming to the pitter, beat him bruised and sodden as an over-ripened peach. Just another drunken curry, doing a tray for a Saturday stoush, before fate stepped in and sentenced him to take a stand for justice, but before justice grew him up and spat him out. There'll be no monuments for Bobby, no accolades apart from this, to recall those times I'd listened from my cell night after night to his tormentors beating as he bravely dressed them down. For him, there was eventual release, but not from that inner desecration that blistered by degrees till eventually it consumed him flourishing in that place where his soul used to be reflected through the tautness of eyes that refused to shed tears by the hate tattooed across fingers poised in a clenched fist and the downturn of a bitter curl beating after beating had carved into the corner of a lip that one stormy night fixed a shotgun on two old salvos and callously emptied the clip. <laughs> <laughs> 